I don't eat junk food. Speak to me. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> We got a whole new slew of dinosaurs here, and it's from the brand Imagine X. Why imagine something else so you can imagine something next? Like the Jurassic World Dominions here. We got the T-Rex, got the Velociraptors, Pyroraptors. We even have the Stegosaurus. Oh, and this little guy behind here. Let's go ahead and take a look at them all. Okay, first let's start with the little dudette here, and it's the Dimetrodon. You can see right there, it's by Imagine X. And it's the Jurassic World Dominion series. And you can see uh, that little picture there. It says, if you push the button, it uh, pops the hackles on her back up. She gets like cray. Well, on the back, it gives us more information here and it's the Dimetrodon break her out of her harness oh there we go so you push the thing the button on her and she just breaks out of the harness to keep her there and then she comes after you so I don't know it's up to you if you want to break her out or not I wouldn't but hey for the sake of the show let's go ahead and do it okay got my knife and it's just tape here tape in the front there's even tape on the on the top. They get tricky with this tape. It doesn't matter because they don't have anything you can clip on it's all in the front so man that was kind of a waste but thanks for going on the gurney with me. I hope I'm not on the gurney after I let her out of her harness here. Well, first she's wild and loose. You can take a look at the Dimetrodon. I mean, she looks cool. Does she close her mouth? Oh yeah, she's got good manners. Oh yeah, you can see her eye just looks so cool. Like so 3D dimensional there. And we got to take her harness out. God, I think it's parent proof. Ugh. Oh, God, I broke the harness out just to put the harness on her. Okay, so this is how it's supposed to work, it looks like. You got a button on this side, okay? So you push it down, and she's in her harness, but then you push the button, and she breaks out. So let's push it down, let's put her harness on, like that. Oh, we got to close her mouth like she's really harnessed. <laughs> <laughs> that popped out really high. You guys got to see it. Let's see if we can get it from the back. You could take somebody's eye out with this. Okay, camera mom, get in close. <laughs> no. Guys, okay, let's see, let's see how high it pops. See, that one threw it forward, but when it popped, it seemed like it went over there. I got to try it one more time. Okay, here we go. Man, I think she was just a one-time hit wonder here. <laughs> She's just... I don't know, the way they just popped, it's just so cool. And you can move her legs, her feetsies. These, like, they're like Komodo dragons. They can move really fast, can't they? You know what? At night, she's got to go to her cage. I mean, you don't want to cage her up, do we? As long as she's a good gal. But then once she busts out... All right, next, this one. I think we already did this one before in another video, but hey, one-stop shopping. We'll just put it all what we can here. In fact, I think there's more than what we got here, but these are new and they're huge. And so let's go ahead and go with this one right here. This one is a Therizonosaurus. And you can't overpronunciate because you know what these things, it's just so long and drawn. And so I want to make sure I do it right the first time. Uh, let's imagine next Jurassic uh, World Dominion the logo. And then of course on the back, Therizonosaurus and Owen and help her break out. Oh, she have chains? Okay, so... That's part of the fun of the dinosaurs, because some dinosaurs, you know, they don't get fed, they get hangry, you know, and they come after you for the food. And then you got to chain them up saying, it's a bad dino. You're on a vegetarian diet. No meat or no me. You can't spell meat without me. You know what? I wonder if I could just cut her and just pull her out. She's have any. Yeah. Oh, she's zip tied in pretty good. Thanks for camera mom. She upgraded my wire clippers. Woo! Oh, that is so satisfying. Thank you, camera mom. Oh, wow. Does it... It did its job. Oh, now here comes the hard part. Owen and the chains. Woo. I'm gonna just kind of slice into the plastic and try not to cut up the chains, you know? Ugh. Okay, not too bad. And then Owen, he's like, no, don't let me out. You're just gonna play with me and have me eaten by that Therizinosaurus. But you're an actor. We have a stunt double for you. Oh, whew. No, we don't. Ah! How's the chains go? So I think it goes around her neck and around her arms like that. Let's get it down. There we go. So full view here. Does she open her mouth? No. Apparently she's not a man eater. She's just a man scratcher. And then you can see her eyes, which looks really cool. And just a little bit of a roundabout there. And so here's the bunch. She's got to break out of her chains. Owen's like just, you know, thinking nothing. Oh, can Owen bend? Oh, he can. And he can move his arms. See, there's Owen up close. Does he look like an Owen to you? I'm um, Owen it to you. So she's she's caged up and he's just like, okay, I'm, I'm calm and relaxed. Nothing can happen. Oh, 
Oh, she got an escape. I mean, he's just gored now. <laughs> he's just all those pitchfork hands, claws like in his back and stuff. I mean, that's the end of Owen. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty scary. We just went from G to PG to YG. <laughs> oh, why? What's a YG? I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we just went from PG to PG 13 with that. But the, hey, there was no gore and stuff. It's a toy. We're good. So yeah, you can pretend like she breaks out, but other than that, I mean, she's got some great action here. And just along with this one. So when she comes along, ready to chop her up, she gets her hackles on end. And usually when you puff up like that, it scares them. We know how to play with dinosaurs. Um, let's do this one right here. The Stegosaurus, dude. Here's all about the details on the back. And it's the Stegosaurus and Dr. Grant. And help her break out. Again, these evil dudes, Owen and Dr. Grant, just want to enslave these dinosaurs, you know. They're friendly. They don't hurt a fly. They may eat them, but they won't hurt them. Let's just go ahead and, uh, you know what? I keep cutting, but why am I cutting? Just because the wire cutters, I think is the only thing that I need to get her out of her cage. Oh man, she's been wrapped and strapped. Oh, okay, so there you go. Cow, it's just like butter. This is great. And then, so we gotta get her uh, shackles and Dr. Grant. Gotta be an easy way to do this. And I'll cut up like this. Oh, phew. What does this do? How's this shackle? Just her tail? Oh, what does it say on the back? Oh, it shackles her tail to one of her legs. Okay, so it goes around her leg. Oh, right there. Because otherwise, uh, well, hold on. Let me get Dr. Grant out. And you can see her eyes. Look at the yellow. Oh, she moves her head back and forth. That's cool. Not up and down. She just swings from side to side. I love that. And then she's got the plates on her back, which is super cool. And so, you know, realistically, that beak is big enough. She could cause some damage. You know, just like bunnies, they're cute and fluffy, but then they get those buck teeth out and they start nibbling on your hand. That hurts. Well, this is a big bunny. Once it starts buck toothing on you, you're going to be uh, with that beak there. That's a very hard beak. He's worried about the tail. I'd be worried about the beak. But anyways, Grant feels comfortable enough that as long as she's shackled with her tail to her leg that she can't go around and side swipe him. But what you do is you push the button on her back and she's loose. Okay, ready? Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, you got to twist it. It's not a push button. Oh, shake, shake, shake. Shake, 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 shake that booty. Once that's off, that's supposed to go off. And then she just swings around. Goes... Ooh, that was a good whack. Whacker do. <laughs> they're both screaming and running like Shaggy and Scooby because <laughs> they're all coming after them. I gotta do this right. It's a gory scene, man. <laughs> Toy parts everywhere. Where's Doc McBuggets? She'll put them back together. I like that. That's just really cool. And this one's pretty loose. So it just kind of. It just goes from side to side to side to side. Okay, next. We got another Thrizinosaurus, but this one's a pretty bird. It's orange. This one says it's the Dinosaur Scout. I guess with the uh, Quad Crasher, ATV, whatever, that goes out, um, the Scout out the Thrizinosaurus, because it looks like on the back, the Thrizinosaurus is picking on the wee ones. I mean, look, she's thrashing about, and so the Scout's got to go out and uh, capture her with this uh, just grappler you can see right there. Kind of, yeah, I kind of cut her, nicked her foot a little bit. Uh, you got to be careful these wire clippers. There we go. She's out. This one's actually really strapped down below. I might have to do a little bit more work. <sighs> so hard, this toy unboxing. Oh, well, you can see it down below here. That one loose. That one's to the quad crasher here, the ATV, okay? Oh, yeah. Roly, 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 roly. Never ends. Hey, how about the handles? Can they? No, they don't steer. But it does roll forward. So now we just got to get the dude, the scout, on the scout crasher. And there's supposed to be like, oh, there's a bullet too. And there's the button so you can shoot. Shoot her! Oh, man. And they're in hard plastic too. Got to get a sharp knife for this. Okay, first success. Um, the little, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a mini pyroraptor? I mean, he's kind of got the, the bird feather going thing here. I mean, maybe that's the mom right there. I don't know. Okay. And I assume that's another, like not a pyroraptor, but a little raptor, baby raptor. Easy. 
And then you have uh, Scout, Mr. Scout, sits here. And I think his hands can actually go up on the handlebar, maybe? Um, actually, mm, not really. <laughs> Because <laughs> his hands are grip are like extended downward instead of upwards and over where he can grab the handlebars. Unless I got that wrong. Maybe he can move his arms up. Oh, he can turn them. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> he can turn his hands. There now he can he can move. I just assume with you know such a, a small set here that the action figure wouldn't have much action to him. Because like you know Dr. Grant. Wow, I didn't notice, but you can turn his wrist too. Whoa, these guys are more actionable than I thought. That's cool. Because you usually see like the joints here, so you can see like there's a joint here and there's a pivot point there but you really can't see it on the hands but the hands do twist so that makes it even extra cool and special Oh, he can stretch his arms out. Oh, now, look at that. He's ready to crash. Okay, we got to get the bullet, uh, the big, uh, God, I wish it was a missile. Just blow her out. That'd be cool. But yeah, you know, we're not doing that. We're just shooting her to like, I guess it's just supposed to grapple her. It looks like just a big hook or claw. Well, I guess we got to take it to the next level of Imagine Next. Imagine Next Part 2. Imagine when you shoot her, I don't know, supposed to like, you know, go around and then clamp so she can't use one of her uh, arms to fight, you know, to come up and claw. I mean, if you're really good and she got in close, you could clamp both of them. Anyways, it looks like it's a clamp. It doesn't look like it's intended to be a missile or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh, yeah. You gonna get it now. Nah. Oh, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. He's gonna get you. Okay, so they come running. Flee, flee, help us. And he goes, ah, Scout is on the way. Ooh. <laughs> Actually shot pretty well. So just for point of reference, how far can we shoot? Camera mom's got to wear her safety giggles. I'm going to see if I can hit the camera first because that's, that's what we do. We always try to give you guys a 3D effect. That didn't go far. It wasn't very dangerous. So yeah, if you... So it goes, what, three feet? Not very far. Okay, now we got to see if we can hit the camera. Hey, but if I was three years old, that would be far. Oh, yeah, that would be. Yay! <laughs> I didn't even hit the camera. The camera's too far back. It can't be further than three feet. You got to be two and a half feet. Ah, oh, that heavy part just drops it. So you have to do a, a higher trajectory. Oh, it's so close. But maybe special effects would make it look really even awesomer. Yeah, that's how you do it. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think we could be more devious. Ooh. <laughs> we switch sides. We're traitors. We're both after the wee ones. Ooh, now go get him. <laughs> you could go ahead and shackle this one as well. You got both of them. You just have to put around her arms and like this, and she can just. Uh, I think she just doesn't know how. <laughs> free of your chains well this one's got more this one's got more of a lift this one doesn't have much of a lift you see the difference between the two see that one's got more of a lift and arch this one is of the orange breed they just are more plant diggers instead of like people grabbers johnny appleseed version here they just go ahead and they plow the fields But this one gets up there in your face. Yeah. So, man, I wonder if they ever fought each other. If that was a battle, if it's a thing, you know, they ever get angry at each other. Usually it's them against the others, you know. Oh, that's just cool how it just rolls. And so and you got these two little babies. That's cool that you actually get some extra characters. They're fleeing from the big Thrinosaurus, and then you got the, the scout to come help them out. Let's go ahead and do this one. The Gigantosaurus. And this isn't just any Gigantosaurus. It says right there, it's the Deluxe XL. XL Large. And it's got a button on the back. And it's got a speaker. So the eyes look like they'd light up. And it says Deluxe Growling Giga XL Dino. That's going to be cool. Okay. This is the first Imagine Next one that we come across that actually is going to make some sounds. I'm excited about that. Our Gigantosaurus. There we go. Oh, wow, that was simple and easy. It shows down in here. It shows like a piece of paper. It says the instructions are down there, so you just, you know, there they are. I wonder if it was like that last video that we did that actually had the Pyroraptor, the animatronics, where you just pet and all these things. I can't imagine this is too technical. <laughs> Maybe not. Speak to me. That's one of the coolest noises I've ever heard from a dino, let alone Imaginex, because they don't have any, but man, that's cool. Hold on. You can move her. 
Oh, that's cool. And she's so thick, you know, you really can't damage. Oh, look at the back. Look at the painting on here. Look how it's light green right here. And it's kind of got a shin to it and a darker green. And then the eyes. And then what about the mouth? Oh, man, that's a cool one to have, guys. This one is awesome. This one out of the, all of them for collecting so far, that would be the one for me if I had to choose, okay? And say, you only got one of these Imagine X. And I'm like, well, I'm imagining more. But no, we just go ahead and this one would be my first choice. So go ahead and push the button. Let me go ahead and mic her. Her eyes light up. Man, we had to turn off the lights have her creepy eyes come to life here. Let's see how many uh, different noises she makes. Let's see if we can guess. Okay, so that's two. Oh, she was stamping. Stamp. So I think there's three. Hmm, that might have been four. Oh, there might be five. Let me go through them and then we'll just time map this here. Yeah. Okay, I figured out. I think there's a total of five sounds that she makes. She's stamping, she's roaring, she's like chewing something. That sounds really cool. And it came with the batteries, which is always a bonus. Man, she's cool. This is my favorite one right here. The Gigantosaurus. And let me take a look at this one, the Pyroraptor. And there's the front. I mean, you, whatever you can see right there is not much. And there's the back. It's got a pretty awesome looking cartoon caricature of the Pyroraptor. Maybe she realized that you did a caricature of her and she's going crazy. <laughs> this one's cool. But this one just says it's the XL, uh, the extra large series. And it doesn't have any, you know, a speaker symbol on it. So there's no sound. Oh, wow. Okay, really cool. Really nice. Oh, she's looking great. And her tail... She's pretty well balanced. And look at the toenails. Uh, just like a giant chicken. I tell you, a giant chicken. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, kind of a cross between a rooster. This is where they came from, you know, roosters. They just devolved. You know, they were first like all cray and everything. And they just went. Yeah. She can move her arms and she can move her torso, body. She can't open her mouth, but the eyes look pretty cool. Got some nice clicking sounds. I don't know, it looks cool as a part of a collection and she goes well, although to scale, no, but you know, cause Gigantosaurus, you know, huge. Just in the color alone. Gigantosaurus, you're still my favorite. Good boy, good girl. Let's go to the next one. And there's the next XL series. On the back, you can see they did a cartoon caricature of this one as well. And this one just looks like a raptor, you know? I think that's what it is. Guys, let me know in the comments if I get this wrong, but I try to do my best with getting these, but they're super cool. I don't need to cut open anything, but just, there we go. Oh. Yeah, Cameron Mom brings up a good point. Is that the DNA blue? But the DNA blue just was all gray and it had blue stripes, not the whole thing that was blue here. Ow, sounds like a chiropractic adjustment. Oh, that was good. <laughs> It's been hard sitting in that box for so long. You know, like Toy Story. Finally, somebody who bought me. Somebody who loved me. Oh, I do. My blue. You're my little guppy goo. <laughs> so look at that. The claws come up. That's cool looking. I love that. <sighs> Such great imagination with the Imaginex. Oh, look, she's begging. Woo, like and subscribe. Woo. So last is our T-Rex. And this one is interesting because this one's from the Jurassic World. And it's not like they didn't have T-Rex in Jurassic World Dominion, but you know, this is what we found. And so if there's more guys like and subscribe because we may get more out dinosaurs. You may become the new next dinosaur family channel. I don't know, but we've done a lot of these and they've been really fun. And we got more things to do. Man, we get into Vault with everything, Treasure Rexes, Gujitsus, Pokemon. I, I said it right. I did it. See, I'm pronouncing it. I'm catching up with you. I'm not so way back in like, you know, yesterday. Caleb and Jacob just, hey, it's Pokemon. On. All right. Now, how are we going to get her out? I forgot. Take a look at the back before we actually get her out. You can see she's got thrashing action T-Rex. That's kind of pretty catchy. Thrashing, ration, action, chashing, action T-Rex. Careful, she thrashes and chomps when you grab her tail. I would. That's that old uh, saying, don't pull a tiger by the tail. It's like part of it, so maybe just the tape right here, right? Tape on the sides. That will expose the underbelly. Oh, yeah. So she's got these locks at the bottom. I turn it. I think I'm turning it the right way. Okay. Woo. She's cool. I mean, again, for uh, little ones, this is like, this is really fun. It's kind of almost adorable until you go out and see the real movie and you're like, man, they're mean. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay. She's got great movement. Oh. Oh, look at that. Ah, she opens her jaws. Oh, and she moves back and forth too. That is super awesome. Her eyes like, they look like they move. Oh, look at, oh, oh, that's cringy. Look at that. Oh, look at her gums are coming down. You got to brush your teeth. Oh, that's just crazy. Look at that. Her eyes move down and push down with her teeth coming down for a chomp. 
Oh, wow. So I bet that's going to have something to do with the uh, button back here. But we got to check her out completely. So she's got her claws. And thank goodness, they're a little bit bigger. They give her some bigger claws. And some of these dinosaurs, man, they just like little teeny things. And I'm like, come on, T-Rex can't be that small in the arms. She might be. So thrashing action. Hold on. She just moves, but you can thrash back and forth. And here's the button. Oh, you pull back. Oh, look at that. You pull back on the button and you can push forward and then watch her eyes in her mouth. <sighs> oh, I missed this. Look at this. I was wondering why her jaw was dropping, but they have actually this button down here. So when you push the button, oh, you pull it back. See that? So you can pull it back at the same time you can have her go down. Oh, I've never seen so much gums in you, Graham Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Gran Graham. Okay, I gotta, oh, hold on, we gotta do this right. I gotta have hand-to-eye coordination here. Okay, so I gotta open up the jaw. I gotta pull down on the button, and then I don't know if these two, oh, not too heavy for the T-Rex. Look at that, her eyes, man, they're closing. You know, like sharks, when they go in for the last bite, they close their eyes, you know? And so it's like they can't see really before. They're blind, like for, well, actually, they can't really see in the water. They just go off of movement and stuff, but that's, man, that kind of reminds me of that. That's, oh my goodness, guys. I think these two are my favorite. Are you done with me? Let me out. I don't eat junk food. Guys, these two are my favorite. Let's go ahead and bring them all in. We got to actually turn off the lights and see what she looks like in the dark here. You know what? I just found out something. Let me let go of the button. Because I was actually holding on to the button when I pressed it down for that one sound, and it kept stomping, 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 stomping. So you can... Oh, that's cool. I thought you were doing No, it was like, because it only stomps for like three or four times. But if you keep the button down, it kept stomping. Okay, I got to try this one more time. That is awesome. So you know how it goes through five sounds? If you push the button and let it go, it goes through the sound. But if you push the button, hold it down, it'll repeat that sound and it'll continue on a cycle. That's cool, because when you do the stomping, we gotta do the stomping one more time. Let me, let me cycle through the stomping. Okay, here comes the stomping. That's awesome. She's the number one. She wins. Woo! She's my favorite, guys. Just hold the button down on your favorite sound. It cycles through, and you can pretend in the darkness is stomping towards you. I mean, freak out your friends, you know? Have a sleepover. You're just like, guh, 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 and get closer and closer, and they start waking up. It's like, guh. And then be sure to film it so you can put it on YouTube and just like as a YouTube short, man. You may lose a friend, but hey, you got a million viewers. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more for you. Woo! Now onto the Fortnite challenge where I gotta win in a, again, T Rex skin. It's a classic. Let's go. We're ready to take Fortnite by storm. <laughs> or by Battle Bus. I mean, either way, it's the delivery of one very awesome T Rex. Gonna go to my same landing spot here to get a kinetic blade. Gotta have mobility. Well, at least I do. Jump. Oh, you got part of the map that looks blue, like blue grass, and you got green grass, and then you got the reds and the yellows. Got a civil war of color going on. Oh man, I landed uh, way too late here, just gliding my way down. We'll get this blade here. Pay respects to the bounty, the quicker eliminator, and away we go. Ah, jumping jaws, a fat jellyfish. Wee! <laughs> a bowling alley. I gotta clean this up someday. In the meantime, I'll take whatever they can give me. Shield bubble, SMG. Down the other side of the sign, shotgun and uh, potty break. And let's head over to Frenzy Farms. First, we'll make a stop at the bush. Through the bush. Then over this to Kamboda Shack. Yeah, pick that up. It's in the chest. Ooh. Heavy sniper. Uh, I will take that. And we gotta splash it out. Keep moving. What's in here? Yeah. Guppy. In the shack. Close the door. Chest. Okay, first dog. Sniper surplus. Then we'll dress what's outside of this paper thin door. It sounds like firecrackers going off. We'll get closer. 
They're not really getting the job done, are they? Let me see if I can snipe somebody. Oh, eliminated. Oh, somebody's after him. Uh, statue right in the headshot. Oh, wow. Actually, okay. We've got a couple of uh, winners here. Oh, where's he going? He's going after the other dude. Ooh. I forgot. I didn't load it for the second time. Somebody else said, oh. Uh, he was shooting at me. Bueller? Bueller? Oh, she gets away. Oh, there goes the other dude. A lizard face. Uh, let's see what they're up to. Lizard dude. I don't know why I'm shooting a shotgun from so far away, but it was fun. Nobody really like, you know, stays too long. They just shoot a few times and yeah, then they run or keep shooting over there. Okay. Ooh, somebody's trying to snipe me. Oh yeah, he just waiting for me. <laughs> You hit the truck! You're a monster! Yeah, he just wants to practice his sniping. I ain't gonna be around for that. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Can't get me. Bye-bye. Oh, you know how to jump around, don't you? I don't know, you piqued my interest. Oh, there you are, dude. Ooh, ah, one more shot. How do you get such a good shot on me? Did he hit my head? Uh -oh. Ooh, I'm down to eight. Bye-bye. Yeah, he doesn't have a connect blade, otherwise I'd be toast, man. Mm, is this a slurp truck here? Can I hit myself to it? Yeah, I don't know how he did so well, can I? He must have a legendary or something, man. Something here, big pot, good. Let's take a potty break. You see that gold light going up there? It, man, that's so deceptive. You go over there and it turns into blue or purple, man. It just lures you there. Whoa, it's lizard face, man. Lizard face means T Rex. Well, T Rex is a lizard. Hey, you're my friend, man. And where are you going? Oh, there he is. I gotta make sh Oh, he knows where I'm at? He's coming. It's Marshmallow ahead. Let me hit Marshmallow ahead. He's looking everywhere. Ooh. Ah. That must be a bot. Ooh. Oh, he's done for. He just smacked himself down <laughs> into the ground. Well, thanks for leaving me some loot, but you didn't have much here, though. Upgrade my shotgun. Mm, I'll fight the storm a little bit just to get a big pot. There we go. Not too far to the zone here. Dang, I don't know sliding. I'll try the key masters, man. Yeah, I can use a little slap it. Can I spend my keys? Anything decent? Maybe upgrade my pistol. I could upgrade my shotgun. Nice. Okay, four players left. Boy, they must be on the other side of the... Okay, three players left. I don't see anybody or hear any gunshots over here at all gonna get up to the top here see if I can get a little height scat around um I don't know and I don't see anybody anywhere god not even a hint not even a sign they must be just way on the other side of the map there show yourself and come out and fight like a man Ooh, there's somebody I think it's it looked like uh, all white is that marshmallow dude ow hey marshmallow head we met before. 
and I'm just, he only got my shield. Oh man, that's a bot. And another bot. Oh, he shot the chicken. Oh man, what kind of monster would shoot a chicken? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I'm out of here. This is such an unrealistic world here, shooting chickens. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Chicken goes after him. In fact, I'm gonna go right back up here. I don't think Marshmallow Dude's around here. Try to get the high ground here. And, oh, there goes my cover. Bye! Oh, okay. Ooh, trying to snipe me. Thank goodness, I keep running. Okay, probably a good thing. Now he doesn't know where I'm at. But man, I really like my height advantage. Okay, now he's picking on somebody else. Take a peek, see weak, see. And uh, he was shooting to the left, but somebody was like sniping just ahead of me. And I can't tell where they're at, but I'll head to the bush. And I'm still not safe. Storm's moving in on me. But I'll wait just a second longer. Ooh. Okay, now we'll go. Ouch. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. Okay, uh, one down. It's uh, two players left. God, I got great height advantage here. He's just right behind that tree, I bet. At least one of them. Try to go in the last second. Oh, is that Marshmallow Dude? Oh, man. It looks like Marshmallow Dude. It's white. Unless it's one of the new uh, season skins. Okay, here we go. Marked him. Okay, got him. Oh, you dropped a crown. Oh, I'm in the storm. Gotta go, gotta go. Let's move it. Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? He's gonna, like, uh, get some med kit there or something. Drink up some splash. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Anyways, it's a dub. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.